everyone. Welcome to Success in Seven Minutes. I'm Dr. Pam Maragliano Muniz, Chief Editor of DentistryIQ.com. And with me, as always, one of my favorite people, Dr. Howard Glazer. He is a columnist for dental economics, a general dentist, private practitioner, lecturer, author, jack of all trades, just all around awesome. Hey, Howard, what's up this week? I don't do any dusting, but other than that, I'm, I'm pretty good about everything else. <laughs> what's up this week? You know, there's some magic in the materials that we're using. Magic? Then, Tell magic. me about magic. Well, one of them even has a magical name. It's called Presto, and it's by Pulp Dent, and it is an absolutely incredible new restorative material. And, you know, Presto, uh, Pulp Dent introduced Activa to us as one of the first bioactive materials that we had for restoration. And Presto is not really like Activa, it's in a category unto itself, because this is sort of a stackable, flowable composite, and rather unique and great to use in so many instances. So it's important to understand that Activa Presto from Pulp Dent is an addition to the Activa family. So there's Activa Bioactive Restorative, which is kind of a combination of resin and glass ionomer technology coupled with fluoride, calcium phosphate, et cetera. But Activa Presto is, doesn't really have glass technology in it. It really is a composite, but it also contains fluoride, calcium, and phosphate as well. So it still is, it's just different. I was looking up the physical properties because we all know we love IFUs around here and it's stronger and it's got more compressive strength, and it's really intended for a whole bunch of different restorations. So Presto really isn't a replacement for Activa a Bioactive Restorative. It's an addition to the Activa family. So that's, yeah. that's pretty cool. So you mentioned that it's syringable, but having said that, it's really intended to be layered or stacked and even though it looks like a flowable composite, it's not. And it's actually intended to be incrementally placed and to be used universally in for the entire restoration. So what type of restorations do you place Activa Presto? That's an easy question. The answer is yes. I mean, I've done it in, in, all, in all classifications of restoration, but it is designed to be, and the reason I say it's in a flowable kind of a category, because anytime we, we pick up a syringe, um, we, we could think of it as a flowable material. Now, Activa Restorative, if you remember, had a, or remember, has a special gun you have to use. This eliminates that special gun. So right away, that's a major difference. It's actually easier to apply this. Um, but I do use this in a one to two millimeter increment, building it up. And the beautiful part here is that you can stack it. There's no slumping, really, that's going on with this. So when you turn your head, it doesn't move. You can build inclined planes with this. You can build cusps. Um, it's very, very well. Uh, handling is, is very, very good on this. And uh, very low shrinkage, very low polymerization shrinkage I've seen on this. Um, more ideal from a clinical standpoint, it polishes beautifully. And so the aesthetics are there. I agree. I found that the handling of it is really nice. Um, one thing that's interesting is that there's always a balance, right? So there's flowables, which, you know, sometimes go all over the place. And then there's stackables where sometimes they don't, you know, get into the nooks and crannies enough. And I find this has kind of a nice balance. I don't have any issues making sure that I get complete coverage of my prepared tooth surface, especially if I'm, I don't know, replacing an amalgam and, you know, the prep may be a little irregular in a couple of spots. I find that it does adapt really, really nicely, but you can build it and you can build a cusp and you can um, really have a really nice restoration once all is said and done. So let me ask you this. Um, what patients are you using Activa Presto with? Well, I, you know, I'm using it, uh, frankly, in, in everything from a pediatric restoration on up through a geriatric restoration, which are geriatric patients are nothing but recycled teenagers. And so it's... Uh, you know, it's, it's easy to use it on them. Um, the fact that you can control it and it's not flowing, flowing and running is a big benefit. And the fact that you can build it comfortably and shape it in that one to two millimeters, zap it with your curing light and then go back and do another layering and then zap it and go back. Um, you can still work pretty fast and pretty efficiently with this material. So I have found I've used it in all age brackets 
for you know all different types of restorations. I will tell you predominantly, I'm using it in class one, two, and five, because uh, those, again, I would think you would probably the most common restorations that we do. I agree. I've used it mostly in class one, two, and five as well, but I'm not going to lie. I've used it in like class four areas or where there's a deep class three, where you can see that enamel shell and it's very, very translucent. And I want to get some, some opacity into my restoration. And, you know, especially when I just used it this week for this purpose that, you know, there was caries underneath the composite and I don't want to see recurrent caries, or at least I'd like to prolong that for as long as possible. Now, another piece of technology that's built into Activa Presto is that there's like a shock absorbing technology. Within the that's, that's proprietary to their chemistry. We first learned of this in the Activa base liner. It's actually a rubberized resin component that allows it to flex just like dentin. It's excellent for that. And the, that's the fact that, you know, that, that, that their chemistry for that makes this a fabulous material to use in those class five cases, or even in the deep class two. There's no problem using it there. You know, another advantage that I've had with this material is I've used it um, in using a, uh, doing fiber splinting. Uh, when I'm using it as a, a material to put the first layer in, then my fibers uh, works really, really well. And because it doesn't flow, you can actually keep it there and put your fibers in and shape it without it dripping into the embrasures and stuff. So another that's, advantage to this material. That's so important. I know you've heard me bellyache about splints before, and I know that a material like this would be really beneficial. I know um, I've used it in some cases where I'm replacing an old amalgam. And obviously there's like those little cracks that form around the amalgam. And obviously that tooth can benefit from some shock absorption, plus obviously fluoride calcium phosphate release. So it's definitely a product that we could all use very successfully. Now, what do you say for somebody who says, okay, okay, Pam and Howard, I wanna give it a try. Is there a way that we can get this in our viewers' hands? Yeah, I, you know, Pulp Dent has always been very gracious about sampling. And I believe that uh, they're gonna provide our viewers with a link and they'll be able to request a sample. And I always, have always said that, that dentists are tactile and visual. If you put it in our hands, we can touch it, feel it, smell it, play with it. We get it. We get it. And this is a very simple material to get, um, both as a free sample and to get the concept of working with this material. So you're looking for success in seven minutes or less. I hope we've just given you a key to that right now. I think we most certainly have. And I agree. You know what? There's no harm in giving it a try. And I can tell you, I was pleasantly surprised. I know, Howard, you bought into this technology before I did. And um, I have to say, it's one of those composites that I do reach for on a regular basis now. So definitely click the link, give it a try. And I am excited to hear what you think about it. So for Dr. Howard Glazer and I'm Pam Aragliano-Muniz, this is Success in Seven Minutes. <music>